Hello all, this is Chris here in the Craft Cabin and I'm just going to run through how to make a granny square with you today. So if you look at our previous video on how to start off your crochet with a slip knot, we'll skip that. And I'm just going to do a quick one here. I'm using a double knit weight and a four millimeter crochet hook and you'll also need your scissors and your pattern as well. So we're going to start here with four chain. I'm going to loop my yarn through my fingers and hold the tail end between my thumb and index finger. And I'm going to do four chain stitches. Two, three, and four. So with the granny square, we start with a loop. So you join back into the first chain you made here with a slip stitch. So I'm going to put my hook through the first stitch. See here. I'm going to grab my yarn and pull it back. And there should be two stitches on. And I'm not going to do yarn over anything. I'm just going to pull one through the other like that. Now. So you can see there, sometimes it can be a little bit tight and if you feel it is, you can do five chain stitches here. But we will be crocheting into the centre here. Make sure you don't be going into the loop of your first chain, but into the centre that's left. So now we do three chain here, which is to get a little bit of height, which I'll explain. And then we are going to do two treble back into the centre of our granny square. So the reason we want a little bit of height is the treble is quite tall. So we're going to start with our yarn over. We're going to go back into the centre and going, finding the gap there, going in. I'm going to grab my yarn the other side, pull it back through. And now I should have three stitches on my hook. I'm going to go yarn over and take two of them off. And I'm going to go yarn over and take two of them off. And that's my first treble. And you can see there it is the same height as the three chain we started with. Now I need to do another treble here. So yarn over. Make sure I'm going through the right spot here in the centre. I'm going to go in, grab my yarn, pull it back. I'll have three stitches on my hook. Yarn over, take two off. Yarn over, take two off. It. So I have three, well, three chain and two trebles. The first one counts as our first treble. So now we do two chain. So that's one and two. And now we're doing three treble again, all working back into the center of your granny square. So yarn over, grab my yarn, two, three on the hook, two off, two off. Yarn over through the centre, grab my yarn, two off, two off. Yarn over through the centre, grab my yarn, two off, two off. And you'll see there I have three trebles on a little space and then three trebles. So it says in the pattern you do two chain, three treble and a ring three times. So this was explained, then this. So I've done it once and now I need to do it two more times. So I'm going to do two chain again and three trebles into the centre. One, two, three. And that's my second time. So you can see here. So this will start making a square as you move on, making your body square. So I'm going to do two more chain. I'm going to go yarn over into the centre, grab and repeat that three times here two, and three. Yeah. So you'll see here I have one bundle of three, two bundle of three, th three bundle of three and four. And we're going to connect back to the top of the tree, three chain where we started here. So you, you can either do a chain, two chains here, or you can do a half treble. So what we've been doing here is a treble. And to do a half treble, you do your yarn over, go into the top here of your three chain. You're gonna grab your yarn, pull it back. 
Now with the treble, you do yarn over, take two off, yarn over, take two off. But with this, we're going to do yarn over and take all three off at once. And that makes a half treble. So you'll see there now we have another gap. 